So now that FilterStorm 3 is almost ready, I thought I'd make a quick video showing off the new interface on iPhone 3. So let's open it up. You can see the inter interface looks very different. There's no uh, bottom toolbar here with the drawer that slides up. We just have this line of icons along the side. Let's paste an image in. So we have our crop tools, right, canvas tools, uh, filters, automations, info, IPTC, EXIF, uh, history, and export. So let's first go into cropping. You can see this looks pretty similar to FilterStorm 2, so we do have this pop over here with a bunch of common uh, ratios, and it also does a much better job keeping things uh, aligned with the cropping. And you can just you know, pinch like that to, to zoom in, but I'm just going to keep it zoomed out and crop it here to a square. Um, filters are what's really different. Uh, let's go into brightness contrast here. Uh, you can see there's this new slider along the side. Um, and when we move that, we get this nice live preview of what it looks like over here. You can switch the contrast like that back to brightness. Uh, if we want to have the whole image as a preview, like in Storm 2, just come into the options here and go to just show just the preview. That back and apply it. Um, similarly, the curves have been redone a bit. This bottom part takes up the same amount of space as it did in Filter Storm 2, except the curves box is now significantly bigger since I've gotten rid of the uh, the toolbar on the bottom there. So if we go, let's zoom in here. and go into masking. So now we again have just a row of icons along the side instead of the toolbar here. Uh, you can zoom in. Uh, so it's the same tools basically except we have this new vignette tool which for example will let you uh, add a blur along the outside of the uh, image if you want. The brushing tools are similar. Let's go to uh, except the one difference is now that the size of the brush scales with uh, with the zoom of the image. So if the brush is a bit bigger than my finger when I'm zoomed in, it'll still be a bit bigger than my finger when I zoom out. And we can uh, switch back and forth. We can show the mask as a color or show it blended. Uh, and a bunch of the other stuff has been redone too. You can see the borders tool looks much nicer. It has this uh, nice little drop shadow on the image makes it look much nicer. Also a single pixel border you can add, uh, outline you can add, I mean. That's not even bad. Um, finally, export. Uh, so this is taken basically straight from FilterStorm Pro. We have a list of destinations we can send an image to. You can add one using that plus button. Um, we have FTP, we also have Flickr and Dropbox now. And when you want to send, you just check off the places you want to send to and hit the export button. And that's my little preview.